You have performed uh, here for three different presidents. How will this inauguration, Donald Trump's, be different? You know, the, the, in, the institution of social media has really changed the environment. I think that may be the only way, because when you look out at the crowd and you know that you're entertaining all of America, it's incidental that the president is sitting to your left. <laughs> you walk out from the Lincoln Memorial and there's like this moment, you know, this surreal moment. It's, it's such an exciting time. Now, we know, of course, Trump's team, you know, we've heard a lot about it, right? And, and some of these stars have been not shy about expressing this on social media, right? That they haven't wanted to come here to perform. Why did you decide to sign on and do it? I don't know how you could say no, Aaron. You know, when it, when you've been asked to come and sing in the capital of the greatest country of the world, and you get that opportunity, my gosh, if you were just somebody off the street and you said, would you like to come and sing at the Lincoln Memorial and during the inauguration, they'd probably jump at the chance. Well, I'm certainly going to not say no. So, you know, some of them uh, who, who have considered performing, announced they were going to perform or, or considered it, faced a lot of backlash. Jennifer Holliday, the most recent one, she was, was going to perform. Her fans got very upset, and she dropped out, citing that. She said her fans were angry. Are you surprised at the backlash against some performers that they have received? Well, maybe that's just their fan. I haven't received that in my fan base, and I'm, hmm. I'm just, you know, I'm... I don't know that anyone would bow down to social media that much to say that it's going to make a difference because I'm just here to watch the president be elected, the transition of power in the greatest country of the world. I, I, I can't relate to that. And for you, that's what it's about. I mean, as I say, you, you've, you've performed. This will be your fourth. Well, my so it's about is, the transition of power. It's about the office, not this president. Not, yeah, my song's not controversial. God bless the USA is for all American citizens. And I get to sing the song I wrote. And. Now, Democratic representatives are, are boycotting, as you know, of course, a, a lot of them are. But one of the reasons they've cited is Trump's treatment of women. And you know there's going to be this women's march the day after the inauguration. One of them said Trump has uh, demonstrated profound disrespect for women. Another saying he calls women pigs. Another, he will turn back the clock on women. Are they wrong on this issue? See, I wish I knew more about it, because I'm just unfamiliar with that. I just know that my wife, Kim, worked for the Miss Universe organization and has for 25 years. We went to New York and saw the office there, and he employs a lot of women. He gives them total power and, and is respectful of the job they do. So I, I have seen it from a distance, but I don't know exactly how, how he would ever treat a woman differently than he does those. And, and in that, you've seen respect. Yeah, very much so. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Sure. And good luck. Everyone, of course, around the world will be listening uh, to you singing that wonderful song. Thank you. Thank you, Erin.